Okay guys, let's talk about this deck. The deck is about 36 inches in length and about nine and a half inches wide at its widest point. It has a nice subtle concave, not too deep, not too shallow. I really like it. Deck has a nice bamboo flex to it, so it definitely rebounds nice when you're carving. Now the board is only 22 pounds, but keep in mind, when you have a lighter board, that means a smaller battery. It's a nine amp hour battery with Samsung 30Q cells. 1200 watt motors each, 190 kV. Standard double kingpin trucks, which I like a lot, along with this six inch airless rubber wheels. Let's see what they can do. Since the Summit is a two-in-one board, you can also get 90 millimeter street wheels along with their standard ABEC pulleys. They also have different color airless pneumatics as well that are the same six inch. So on the top right corner, you can see different color choices for these six inch airless wheels. Some are sold out, some they're waiting for more stock. The entire kit itself comes with belts and the 60T pulleys. The kit itself is 191 Canadian dollars with my discount code EastgateUnity. It totals out to about 148 US dollars. Now, in my opinion, that's more than fair for an all-terrain kit. Normally, all-terrain kits are anywhere from 180 US dollars all the way to 280 US dollars. So I'm not gonna lie, at first I thought I would really hate airless rubber wheels because I don't really like the 115 millimeter Onsra wheels and the Evan 105 airless rubber wheels. They're just really not my thing but those are a lot more rounded off and a lot more smaller and heavier. These are taller and more narrow so they can run over more stuff. The texture on them is definitely a little bit different as well. So you can see the board behaving on all kinds of different terrains and I'm just really, really liking it. I think they're very much worth the pricing. So if you can relate to this kind of footage with the riding style and the different terrains I'm riding in, go ahead and buy these wheels. Now a few other companies have this style remote and I really like it. The screen is big, it's lightweight, and the number one part I like about this remote is this little hole I can put my finger through. And let me show you why. So since I'm allowed to get my finger through that hole, it allows me to actually pull up on the deck with the whole force of my entire strength of my while hand. While being able to grip the remote the entire time while pulling up on the deck while trying to slide. Okay, so let's talk about the price of the board. After my discount, it comes out to 964 US dollars. For a two in one, that's pretty damn good. Top speed I got was 24 miles per hour, 36T and the 85 millimeter wheels. With the six inch AT kit, I got 22 miles per hour. The range of the street wheels, I got about 14 miles and the range of the AT kits riding in dirt the entire time, nine miles. Okay, so my final thoughts about the board. The board is a great two-in-one affordable board. Some people don't have the money to spend $1,300, $1,500, $1,900, $2,500 boards. So 
if you want a two-in-one board and you don't need crazy range and crazy performance, this might be the way to go. Also, you could be a beginner and you don't want to get one of those boosted style boards and you want a two-in-one. This is great for beginners too. What I also really like about the board, since it's so lightweight, it's so easy to bring around to travel with. So having affordable two-in-one board, this is what riding is all about. Being able to go off-roading with no problems. Something like a Backfire Zealot, an X-Way Flex, a Walgo S2 Pro Max, those boards really can't handle this type of terrain. You're spending $100 to $200 more and you get best of both worlds and affordable two-in-one board. This is actually a really good value. This board with street wheels is even better in my opinion. Super low stance to the ground. I love how flat and wide it is. With the double king pin trucks, smaller, wider wheels in my opinion is just super, super, super fun. Something again like the Backfire Zealot and the X-Way Flex, they're kind of higher off the ground. Their stance just feels a little taller to me. I like having that lower center of gravity when it comes to street wheels on these two-in-one style decks. Even that Carvey kind of vibes is really what I'm all about when I e-skate. You know, when it comes to sliding, dancing, that rebound with the flex deck, again, being lower to the ground, that's really what my kind of style is all about. This board really hits the nail on the head here because it really has that two-in-one package I really do look for in these type of boards. So if you want a two-in-one board, you don't want to spend a fortune, this might be a great option for you. Thank you for watching, guys. Please comment, like, share, subscribe. Have a good one, guys.